20th of August. Is it the end of summer here in Normandy? Definitely. Is it the best time and the weather for the swimming suit? No. Am I going to make one anyway? Yes. Do I know how to make one? No. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, if you are looking for some professional tutorial on how to make bikini, then <laughs> you are on the wrong address, I'm telling you. But if you are still interested on how I made them, then keep on watching. And if you are interested what is this next to me, then you can click on this link and watch my tutorial on how I made the corset top. But of course, after you watch this one. So, I will definitely link down below some better tutorials uh, because really you shouldn't take this video as a tutorial. I think you shouldn't take any of my videos as a tutorial because most of the time I don't know what I'm doing. But as you please guys. <laughs> anyway, today I'm going to use uh, this fabric. This is the type of fabric that you can use for your athletic wear or you can make bikini just like I'm going to do today. I will also link it down below if you are interested on buying this or another fabric from the shop. The brand is a Takoi. I have mentioned this brand a few times on my channel. They have quite few uh, designs for the swimming suit. If you are in different part of the world and the summer is not over for you, then I will link it down below and you can go ahead and check it out. So this is my first try and uh, everything over here is fitting me well. Even the waist is fitting me, I just don't like the way how I uh, finished it. I think I'm just going to do the same thing like here on the side seams. It's just going this way, which is supposed to go more this way because as you go from your hips and you go higher, your waist is becoming smaller. So I will need to adjust this over here. The green line is the original pattern, plus it continue here on the red line. The red line over here, I was not changing anything. So for the back piece, you can see original line over here and little tiny bit of here. I needed to add some volume because it was covering just little tiny bit uh, so I wanted more coverage so I needed to add volume so I slashed the pattern piece like this and I spread it and then I traced the new shape I added seam allowance of course at the bottom I added one and a half centimeter because uh, here will be also the tunnel for the elastic. So yeah, this is what I change. So here are all my pattern pieces cut it out. We have one front piece with a lining. We have two pieces for the top triangles also with the lining. And then we have two back pieces. They will be joined in the middle and make one piece also with the lining. And then we have two uh, we have three straps, one long one that will be around the chest and then two shorter straps that will go around the neck. The way how I measure uh, the length, I just went to one of my swimming suit and kind of see how much I needed to cut. So you have this piece of fabric that will be made into strap. The width of the fabric is 4 cm, the long, as I said, as you want to uh, measure it, you will fold it uh, right side facing like this in a half. Elastic have to be sewn over here. All of this will have to be cut out. Uh, if you have serger, you can do it in one way. If you don't have a serger, first sew this with a zigzag stitch and then cut this. So I have all the straps ready. I will take two top parts, I will put them right sides facing and I'm going to overlock these two seams over here. 
Now that this is done, I will go ahead and insert the straps over here, just like that, on the both pieces and sew it over here with a straight stitch on normal sewing machine because in this way I think there is a less bulk and then you, when you turn it right side out it looks much nicer. We will turn it right side out and then we'll overlock this seam over here. So now that it's overlocked, I will go and give it a long loose basting stitch over here and just gather it a little bit more so it will help me to after turn it like this inside so a straight stitch and create a tunnel for the elastic So now that I have this basting stitch, I will just pull it a little bit So now it will be easier for me I will take one strap and I will just measure how much I need to turn it inside in order to be able to, to insert the elast elastic later. So let's say like this and I will sew here. Let's go do the bottom. So for the bottom, I will start first with the back pieces. I will sew this side and also the shell of the fabric. You have to pay attention to put them right sides facing and sew this seam. So we have now full back piece from lining and from the shell fabric. So now I will be joining uh, these pieces together with the seam over here, but on the lining, I will just do it with the simple straight stitch on the sewing machine because I will have to open the seam late and you will see why. So now we will be sewing these two seams with the right side facing, but uh, we will be sewing also the elastic inside in the same time. Just don't stretch it. Do a basting stitch over here and here just to secure these two layers of fabric. It's less stress and it's more accurate uh, while I'm sewing this. What I like to do, I like to catch the elastic at the beginning with the sewing machine just to be sure that uh, it will be fitted inside the serger. front and back shell on one side and lining on one side first match the side seam and then pin it all the way here and here so now that it's overlocked let's see how it looks like so i know it doesn't look the best right now but don't worry once you wear it it will be perfect just put the fabric like this just to make sure that I will not do mistake and the tricky part will be to put it out but let's see what we can do
I don't know what is that. <laughs> so guys, I have this here. I don't know what is that and what I did. But somehow I will try to to get out of this mess. Wait, wait. Yeah! Oh my god, I did it. I did it, guys. Okay. Woo! Nice. Okay, it looks a little bit weird, but I think once I wear it, it will be nice. The task is to close this, so I think I will just close it by hand. Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights, won't stop for traffic lights. Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Sorry for the interruption. <laughs> 